What is this? What is this? Is there any reason that this should be what I wake up to this morning? Look, Jinder Mahal was one thing. At least I saw that coming. Samoa Joe wins the Fatal Five Way? Not Roman, not even Seth Rollins. Samoa Joe, out of all the people you could have chosen to win this, to be the number one contender for the Universal Championship, you chose Samoa Joe. Look, if y'all want to call me part of the Balor Club, fine. But it made sense. Paul Heyman was trying to court Finn Balor. Maybe he was trying to get him comfortable so that Brock Lesnar could come by in the Universal Championship and try to hand him an ass whooping. Maybe you had him trying to take Finn Balor as the new talent and maybe replace Brock Lesnar. And maybe you could make Heyman the bad guy. There was stuff building there. There was the episode of 24 where you saw Finn Balor's injury and how he rose to come back to his former glory. Everything was grooming for a great underdog story. And then this happens. We already had a fantastic feud rolling with Seth Rollins and Samoa Joe. Two adversaries, different, but they came at each other with a ton of energy. And that feud was cut short just so we could have this number one contender thing. And now, Great Balls of Fire is just looking to be two beefy dudes beating the shit out of each other. But it's not even satisfying because Samoa Joe is just out of left field. What are you doing? Are we seriously to believe that Samoa Joe has dreams of universal domination? No. Samoa Joe was great as that loose cannon, that guy who just hated Seth Rollins and wanted him dead. But no, you just cut the legs from underneath that feud, you cut the legs from underneath Balor, and you just replaced it with bullshit. Hell, I would have even taken Bray Wyatt, because they don't know what the hell they're doing with Bray Wyatt, so you know what, if Bray Wyatt who's been kind of the guy who's been tossed aside these past couple months, sneaks from behind and finally gets his chance to be the Universal Champion. I could see that area working. But Samoa Joe is literally, like, picking names out of a hat. Where does this leave Raw? Is Seth Rollins just gonna try for a S.H.I.E.L.D. reunion again? Maybe. If Ambrose lost, then we could try having that. And that might be something that at least sparks some energy back here. And I'm sure there are going to be people who are like, Samoa Joe is the greatest wrestler of all time. Look, it's not about Samoa Joe as a wrestler. It's about WWE being terrible at booking events. It's Brock Lesnar, the Thanos of the WWE Universe. This is like if we decided Vision was going to be the guy to take him out. Rant over. Barnyard's actually going to be taking over this episode of Raw, so it gives me time to cool down. I can go back to SmackDown, I can talk about, you know, foreign stereotypes and all that. Something that's more my bread and butter. I'm, I'm alright with that. But yeah, until... Samoa Joe! I'm the cult of personality, the cult of personality.